In this episode, the International Industry Fair in China just wrapped up. Scientists have found out how to turn off aging in the brain. And South Korea creates a robotic Usain Bolt. This and more coming right up. Let's get it. CIF 2024 just closed in Shanghai, and as always, we got our eyes on the prize. For example, Hakka Robotics, an industrial robot manufacturer playing for the home field, unexpectedly presented a humanoid robot with incredible payload capacity. The K1 can lift 90 pounds or 40 kilos with each hand. This is serious business, considering that most advanced humanoids today can't lift more than half of that. The K1 also boasts a working range of 6 feet or 180 centimeters and positioning accuracy of a hundredth of an inch or 0.05 millimeters. Literally splitting hairs here. It has 29 movable joints, 14 degrees of freedom in each arm, and the robot is modular, which means it can be customized for whatever your heart desires. And here's another robot that unexpectedly popped up on the radars. Easton Automation specializes in industrial and collaborative robots. Moreover, it has the largest share of the robot market in China after Fanuc. The range includes real giants with payload capacities up to 1,500 pounds or 700 kilos and highly sensitive robotic arms. No wonder things are working out for Easton. They devoted a quarter of their staff and a third of their budget to R&D. Obviously, some of this spills over into humanoid robotics, just like in our case. But to play the devil's advocate, perhaps their new humanoid is just a publicity stunt, just to prove the company's ability to create new equipment. Especially since details about it are scarce. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. One of the most promising startups in the area, Seer Robotics, showed up with a bang. Must be that ability to quickly create semi-humanoid robots. The company specializes in autonomous robotics of exceptional accuracy and reliability. At the same time, Seer Robotics develops bots to order, any shape, any size. And each one of their robots is able to move within any type of space with an accuracy of almost a tenth of an inch, or two millimeters. Oh, and they also have over 400 patents and world-leading slam technology. Not a bad start for a startup. Of course, the International Industry Fair showcased a host of cutting-edge industrial and collaborative robots as well as mobile warehouse platforms. And just a side note, in the last three years, more than half of all robots in the world have been sold in China. To put these numbers into perspective, if robot sales in the country fall by 20%, their domestic market turnover will still be much larger than that of the US and the EU. And more from Shanghai now, Fourier Intelligence has unveiled its latest advanced humanoid robot, the GR1, which is stronger, more agile, and smarter than the last one. The 5'9", or 175-centimeter-tall robot weighs 140 pounds, or 63 kilos, and looks more solid than the company's first gen of humanoids. That's because all of its mainframes and whatnot are now hidden inside of a sleek body. Just check him out. Its main advantage, however, is the new arms, with 12 degrees of freedom, as well as force and tactile recognition technology. This allows the GR2 to adjust its grip and sense the shape and material of things in real time. The robot's definitely not going to work in a warehouse since its arms can't lift more than 6 some pounds or 3 kilos. But the most important thing about it is obviously the brains. And here, the GR2 does not fail. The robot has its own artificial intelligence which allows it to quickly learn new tasks in not one but three different ways. The first is by observing a human or another robot. The second is through teleoperation, which is when a human controls the robot directly in virtual reality. And the third is programming with end-to-end -end guidance, when a person takes the robot's arm and shows it where and how to move. Of course, the robot's still a long way from being a finished product, but in five to 10 years, this technology will surely change the world. 
On to otherworldly things now, scientists from Stanford have made a breakthrough discovery in the field of life extension and preservation of mental abilities. They've calculated and deactivated a gene that contributes to brain aging with the help of CRISPR technology. The fact is that our brain creates new neurons even in adulthood, thanks to special neural stem cells. However, over time, their activity decreases, which affects memory and cognitive functions. Scientists have calculated that this happens because of one particular gene related to glucose transportation. By turning it off in mice, scientists noticed a dramatic increase in new neurons, twice as many. Perhaps in the future, scientists will be able to calculate all the genes responsible for the aging processes of our body and learn to turn them off. But after that, they're going to have a hell of a time studying the side effects. So our professional advice to you is just go lift, bro. And Tesla is sending out invitations to their keynote where it's going to present their robot taxis. The name is so modest, we robot. By the way, Elon Musk recently said that a ride in these little miracles of modern engineering will cost no more than a bus ticket. Are you a believer? Subscribe to the channel and we'll make sure to keep you updated about the event. Chinese tech giant Tencent has introduced an unusual robot for caring for the elderly. Engineers didn't bother with the humanoid form and developed their own design, which combines the capabilities of different ways of movement and interaction. Xiaowu can move on telescopic legs by walking or riding on its wheels, and it seems to be able to aptly handle a pair of humanoid arms as well. Interestingly, the robot's arms are covered in special censored skin. It's part of a specifically developed system by Tencent engineers of safe physical interaction with people. In total, the robot's body has 29 degrees of freedom, excluding the hands. Chao weighs 180 pounds or 80 kilos and can hold or carry up to 110 pounds or 50 kilos. Its max wheeled speed is 10 feet or 3 meters per second. The robot can grow taller or smaller, as well as keep its balance on uneven terrain, thanks to the design of its legs. But most importantly, and you can guess where this is going, yes, the robot has a brain. It independently builds a map of the terrain and its route, takes into account static and moving obstacles, recognizes people, and independently chooses the most appropriate type of walking. It can also correctly distribute the load when interacting with a person, for example, to help him get out of bed. And when all the chores are done, Xiao just neatly folds up and quietly waits when you need it again. Now folks, it's official. Even portable ladders no longer protect humans from robots that run. To make it stop being this scary and become useful, we need to teach them how to climb a stepladder and screw in some light bulbs or something. Because in Korea, there's these engineers from the Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. They decided to create robots that are hard to escape from. Remember how during the Optimus keynote, Musk emphasized that his robot will never run at human speed? While well, unlike him, Korean researchers decided to create a real Usain Bolt among robots. Meet Raptor. It can accelerate up to 30 miles or 46 kilometers per hour. This bad boy already ran a 100 meter sprint at world record speeds. And in case you're wondering, this nifty little tail you see on the side is for balance. And by the way, out of all the robots today, only Cheetah from Boston Dynamics can put the Raptor to the test. But it'd need all four legs for this. However, still, both experiments prove that smart machines on legs will be quite capable of running as fast as Speedy Gonzales. Engineered Arts introduced Amika's robot brother called Azzy. Both machines can communicate using GPT-40 and are positioned as desktop companions. Now, it's possible to make a more entertaining show out of the back and forth between the two, but in addition to entertainment, such a talking head could, well, for example, manage your YouTube channel for you. I know our producers are sweating bullets right now. What else do you guys think this is useful for? Let us know in the comments. Meanwhile, University of Surrey held a competition for young roboticists and showed the winning entry. It's a robot called Plantolin. Its sole task is to roam the forests, dig holes, and plant seeds. 
Now the project will be supported by university engineers and maybe it will actually get to see the light of day. If this works, the next stop's the Amazon. And finally, a bit of drama. Digit from Agility Robotics is in jeopardy. The humanoids have just started testing in GXO warehouses, but the company seems to have turned elsewhere for its robotic needs. These smart machines cost 20 times less than any humanoid and are easily trained for new tasks. Please welcome the direct threat to the success of humanoid robots like Optimus and Figure and Digit for that matter, Reflex. The smart bot can learn by watching humans do their jobs and becomes fully autonomous after just 60 minutes. This makes it one of the fastest adopting technologies in the field. This robot from Reflex Robotics is designed to be simple but functional. It can do jobs such as carrying stuff, picking up orders and restocking. At GXO, it operates on a robots as a service model. This means that the company doesn't buy the robots but leases them. Moreover, a subscription to this robot costs half as much as the cost of a real human employee. And for the most complex or demanding tasks, there's remote operator control. Do you think maybe totally autonomous humanoid robots are a little bit of an overkill and simplified solutions like these are enough? Let us know in the comments. There's more, but we're out of time. So subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech.